In this video, we're going to simplify what might be the most complicated looking radical expression you've ever seen. What we want to simplify in this radical is basically everything we can, but one thing that stands out about it is we can't have radicals in the denominator of a fraction. It's not allowed. It's bad practice. And so, to clear it, because we see that subtraction in there, we can't just multiply by the square root of 3x. We're going to have to use a conjugate. And the conjugate's easy to identify. It's the same thing as the denominator. We just change the sign in the middle, 5x plus the square root of 3x in both the numerator and denominator. Keeping that numerator in parentheses, we're going to have to do some FOIL here, because there's two terms multiplying everything by everything. So when we do first times first, 3x times 5x, that's outside the radical 15x squared. Inside the radical is just the 2x. Then 3x root 2x times the square root of 3x. We get a positive 3x outside the radical, and inside the radicals, 2x times 3x is 6x squared. Now take the root 4x cubed through times 5x. The 5x is outside. The 4x cubed is inside, so we'll leave them as such. And then 4x cubed times 3x under the radical is 12x to the 4th all over. The denominator's a bit nicer because the denominator is made up of conjugates, so we only have to multiply the first and the last pairs together. 5x times 5x is 25x squared. We've got two 3's under a radical, negative, because negative times a positive is a negative. Two 3's under a radical pulls a 3 out. Two x's under a radical pulls an x out. No radical left in the denominator. 25x squared minus 3x. The only thing left to do is simplify what we can inside these radicals. 2 and x, nothing can come out. 6 is just 2 times 3, so nothing's going to come out of that. But the x squared, we can divide that exponent by the index. 2 divided by 2 pulls 1x out, leaving none behind. Don't want to... I'm going to erase that index so we don't accidentally think that's squared. 4 is 2 times 2, so we have a pair of 2's that can come out of that radical. Also, the x cubed, when we divide 3 by 2, we get 2 remainder 1. That means an 1... I'm sorry, 3 divided by 2 is 1 remainder 1. So 1x comes out, and 1x is going to remain inside. Let's catch up with what we have before we move on to the last radical. We've got that 15x squared root 2x plus 3xx is 3x squared. Square root of 6, the x's are gone plus 2 times 5 is 10, xx becomes x squared. Left inside the radical we said was just an x. And the 12, let's see, 12 is 2 times 6, 6 is 2 times 3, so we have a pair of 2's that come out. x to the 4th. Divide the exponent by 2, we get x squared outside and a 3 inside. So we end up with 15x squared, square root of 2x, plus 3x squared, square root of 6, plus 10x squared, square root of x, plus 2x squared, square root of 3, all over the 25x squared minus 3x. But we're not done yet because we can still simplify the fraction by factoring out a GCF. In the numerator, there's a GCF of x, leaves behind... x, sorry, it's x squared. Leaves behind 15 square root of 2x, plus 3 square root of 6, plus 10 square root of x, plus 2 square root of 3, all over. Factoring a GCF of x out, 25x minus 3. That lets one of our x divide out, and we get our final answer. x times that huge, ugly polynomial over 25x minus 3. 
the hardest problem solved.